What you want is not out there. It's not on anybody and it's not on anything. You don't have to put what you want on something for you to get it or for you to believe that what you want is actually on what you think it's on. Hear this. Whatever you think what you want is in or is on, what you actually mean is that truly that thing that you want is on it. So, what you want is not out there. It is trapped within you. You need to unleash that thing. First of all, you need to find out truly what you want. And that thing that is trapped within you, you need to find it out. I'm going to be giving some examples and we'll see how we can work this out to truly know and understand what we want and bring them out. So because what you want is not out there and is trapped within you, what you and need best to do is not to go running after anything, not go chasing after anything, because you won't find it. You won't, you won't get it either. You are actually running and chasing after things or after what you think you want after something that is not you are finding what you want in wrong places you need to know this and understand it you are finding what you want in wrong places and in wrong things what do you want is it happiness is it money? What truly do you want? Is it sex? Is it a house? Is it a, is it a business? Is it a car? What truly do you want? If you are able to give me an answer to this, then we, we have something to work with and we have some place to start from. What truly do you want? Hear this. If it is happiness you want, I'm going to tell you this, it is not happiness that you want. Why? Because if it is in somebody, or let's say you think that if you get that relationship, that man or that woman, you'll be happy, trust me, you won't be. because. You find that man either was. You find that woman either was. But truly, in no time, that happiness you are looking for in that man or that happiness you are looking for will fade away because your happiness began to depend on that man. So, what do you really want? What you can best do is to be someone who can be unbeatable. Here's what I mean. Scripture says that there are fruits of the Spirit. There are fruits of the Spirit. One of such is love. One of such is peace. One of it, again, is gentleness. Is self-control. So, are you probably struggling in something and you want a solution to it? The solution basically is in what they call self-control. Self-control simply means discipline. So if you can discipline yourself, if you can control yourself, truly, that thing that you think you are lacking and you need control over, you'll be able to control it. Here's what I mean. You need to do things that is not dependent on people. You need to do things that is not dependent on things. You need to do things that is dependent on the things that are inside you. Example, joy is a fruit 
within you. You need to work that joy out. And here's how you work it out. You need to begin to believe that you have joy within you. You need to begin to think that you have joy within you. And you need to begin to, to say, to speak of that joy within you out. For example, I have joy within me. Or joy is full. I'm filled with joy. Joy uncontrollable. And here's what happens. When you build this power of this joy I'm talking about, your life is actually dependent on that joy that is within you. Not on anything. So just like some people will say, you stand a chance to lose nothing. Whether you have it or you don't have it, you stand a chance to lose nothing. So whatever thing that happiness will bring, why? Because you should know, you should know that happiness is temporal. It doesn't last. So whatever happiness will bring, because you know you have joy within you, if you get it, you are okay. If you don't get it, you are okay in that ways. This is what it is. If you get that money, you are okay. If you don't get that money, you are okay. All you need to do, all I'm talking about here, is your disposition. It's your mindset towards, towards things. What I'm talking about here is your mindset towards things. How you think about things. How you see things. That is how you are going to get it. So if you think you lack something, truly you lack it. And truly you will lack it. But you do not lack anything. The mindset you carry. As scripture says, as a man think in his heart, so is he. As a man think in his heart, so is he. The mindset you carry is what carries you on for life. So you need to check that thing. You need to check your mindset. So if again, truly you think that you want something, truly you want it, and you are going to want it for life, but you think you do not want anything. The very moment you begin to think you do not want anything, that's when the things that you actually will get come to you. Why? Because you have everything. You have everything. All the things you think you would want, you have it already. It is, it is with you. It is within you. It is not anywhere. It is with you. You need to unleash those things. You need to know this, that everything, whatsoever thing you would want, you already have it. Whatsoever thing, you already have it. So you don't need to go and look for it somewhere. That is what will drive you crazy. You looking for what you want somewhere is what is going to drive you crazy. You looking for something you want is what is going to drive you mad. It's going to make you do things that you will regret someday. So you don't want anything. You have everything. You do not want anything. And you have everything. You need to know this. You need to think this way. You need to see things this way. And you need to talk this way. Every good gift and perfect gift is from above and it comes from the Father of Light to you. Every good gift, every perfect gift. You have been blessed with all spiritual blessings. You have been blessed. You have been endowed with all spiritual blessings. You do not want anything, my brother and my sister. You do not want anything. So all you think you would want is actually what you think you want. But until you begin to think you do not lack anything, you don't lack anything. Just like my pastor will say, Pastor William Bexley, the very moment you are able, I'm paraphrasing, the very moment you are able 
to get rid of need and pain, then transformation starts. Or then changes start. So be able to get rid of pain and need. Because pain and need can cause you to want, can cause you to so need, can cause you to do things you wouldn't want to do, can cause you to run after something that is actually running away from you. I am Quecho, and thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, like the video, share, and then leave me a comment. Thank you. Thank you.